Are you new to Slack and want to master it quickly? In this beginner friendly guide, I'm going to be working you through everything you needed to know to use Slack like an actual pro. So to get started, first of all, what I need to do is to understand Slack. So Slack is a communication platform designed to make team collaboration really easier. So think of it as a central hub where you can chat with your teammates, share files, and stay organized through channels and integrations. Whether you're working in an office or remotely, the Slack you're working uh, keeps everybody connected. So to get started, what I need to do is to create a Slack workspace, whether this is for you or for uh, someone that's working with you. So first of all, I'm going to focus into slack.com. Choose the option that says get started. There's a lot of plans. We're going to start starting with a free plan, but you can try it out to look out for a four uh, plan having a pro plan more benefits later into the future So we can start by signing with an email account or with Google or Apple account. Let's try it out with a Google account I uh, choose one of them In this case, I'm going to be choosing this one, which is my pre private uh, email go for continue or Just to choose an email as well as a passcode Review the passcode and start creating your workspace. Let's try it out with creating workspace here. Now we are inside the Slack.com um, elements. Now here as you can see, we do have the application of the Slack. Basically, this is the power to navigate directly into the interface. So when you're logged in, you see the Slack interface. So it's going to be asking you to enter the name of the company of the email. So let's go for like this is Stephen Cito. Go for next. There are five steps steps to cover, of course, for example, what's the name of your company, what's your name, your profile information, who else is into the team of this Slack. We can add them right now or we can add them later. That's totally optional. What's your team working on right now? Let's focus into social media content. Next, choose a plan to get started. Once again, as I just told you, you're going to be using the free plan. You have a 50% discount on the pro version down below in the description. You want to try that out for the first three months. So let's start out only with a free plan. And now we can see that here into the slab hall, we do have uh, my channels. We have the direct messages and here are the activities. At the top right, you will find your profile settings and the notifications. This is totally depending on the elements that you have chose to get started. In our case, we chose a free plan. Now, let's just start by using our very first channels. So we can organize your conversations with channels. We can use channels like chat rooms for specific topics. To create one, let's click into the plus icon that you might be seeing here. Uh, whether it's into the channels, direct messages, and more. Let's locate for add a channel, which is this plus button, and we can create a new channel or browse the channel. So let's go for create new channels. We can have the product starter kit, and we can see the product description. Here are the goals, the team, the task tracker, key resources, and much more. Have the health request processes, team support, feedback, uh, new hire onboarding, sales tracking deals, and you want to look out for more channel templates, check the option that says show all the templates. So you can check out all the templates to get started. I'm going to be starting with a project starter kit, which I think is going to be really working really well. Let's go for next. And here are the template features. This one comes with messaging, project overview, project tracker, image status notification, and the welcome messages. So we can just choose that option and go for continue. Now, unfortunately, there are a few elements that are uh, only for the pro version. So you might want to try it out with a blank channel. So here into the channel lane, let's go for welcome aboard. And the visibility to be for uh, public, create and add all the members of this, um, let's say, organization inside this channel. Let's go for done. And we are inside them. Now, to welcome aboard, we can add a description, we can add people to the channel, and we can add a new canvas. For example, here into this new canvas, let's say, for example, that we can choose these options as create canvas and into the channel our review. I'm going to delete this element and let's try it out ghost. So, words go here. Let's say, for example, goes 
for the organization are the next are the few. So if you type the forward slash, we can add checklist, uh, headings, call outs, or bullet lists, and codes, dates, images, fields, select layouts, and so much more. Let's try out with a bullet list. So for example, let's go for first YouTube video. And as you're adding more and more information, you can just add them uh, later on into the future. So check out how it actually looks, your own elements as you are getting them started. And you can edit it once you have added all of them. We can, somebody who has checked out here, this element, they can react to them. To add more people inside here, you can focus into this left section that says invite people, send to, and send the specific email. We can send messages and file sharing by making some sending messages easily. Just click into the direct section where it says messages. Let's close this, skip for now. Let's go for messages. And here we have this element where we can just add text, we have emojis, mention somebody, record a video clip, record an audio clip, or go for the plus section and do all of these elements. Now, something else you can do is to check out the really great elements, which are the integrations. So there are stuff that we can add, for example, to Google Drive, there's the Trello, Zoom, and so much more. So to look out for that, let's go for the sidebar, and we can search for the application that you would like to add. For example, here into more, for example, here into the other side where it says search, let's type Google Drive for Slack, for example. And there we go, Google Drive for Slack, from your desktop, click add to Slack, add to Google app, and connect them. So here is the instructions to add those later. Even what you can do is to add your own Zoom element, for example. And lastly, before we wrap up, here are some quick tips. So for example, we can use Control K to switch between channels. Something else that we can do is to add, for example, let's go for, I don't know, maybe this channel. And I go for the fast forward slash and I just type the word, for example, remind. When I type remind, um, here it's gonna be asking you what and when. So follow by your task to end time. So basically this is how we can actually uh, use this element, for example, remind, and change this, for example, social. Uh, let's say finish the progress. I send this. And I have my very first reminder send it and created. And there we go. Only visible to you. I will remind you social check the messages enter at 2 p.m. every day. A really, really great uh, shortcut. So shortcuts are basically a really great options to get started here into Slack. And that's it, guys. You're now ready to use Slack for seamlessly team collaboration. So if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. There are so much more things to cover into Slack, but you now know the actual basics. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.